using technology and creativity and culture and uh, collaboration with, with citizen volunteers coming together to create art on the plaza. They wanted to use this lawn as a way to display sculptures created by our local artists. And so that's what we're seeing here. This is all going to be up for a year. In a couple of months, we're going to put lighting on it, uh, LED lighting, so at night when you drive by, you'll still be able to enjoy it. And I think the beauty of it is the fact that anybody driving by, walking by, gets to see some um, entertaining, thought-provoking artwork. This is a celebration of our program, Sculpture on the Lawn. Um, it was created by Terry Olson and myself and the Public Art Review Board. And what we did was we went out and found four sponsors to sponsor a one-year temporary outdoor sculpture that we hope to be an annual event. Our Public Art Advisory Board raised money privately to have uh, sculptures on loan. We did a call nationally and sculptors sent in images of their work that would be available. We looked around the state at all different temporary sculpture programs and loan fees uh, from really tiny to pretty good and we said we want to have the best. We reviewed on slides all of the selections and we wanted something unique and interesting for each concrete pad and um, something that would kind of represent the different styles of art that fit in Florida and so this is what we came up with. Orlando is a world-class city and I think arts and culture not only helps us be a world-class city, but it provides economic development, it gives people quality of life, it gives people something to talk about, and um, I think we are taking great strides to be a world-class city with arts and culture.